So you still use in top or H top? Try using B top. It sounds very similar, but it's very different. With B top, you get visual representation of everything per core usage, temperature of your processor, current network usage, and even GPU usage on compatible systems. Today, I want to show you small but very nice things for your server that are completely free. I already told you about BTOP. It's for real time monitoring of your system, but there are some neat tools for automated monitoring. Scrutiny. This small self hosted app monitors health of your hard drives and can notify you about errors. You can install it by using Docker, so it won't do any mess with your system, and at the same time, it can output notifications to anything, but it also has amazing web-based interface. You like web-based interfaces? Then also check out Hetrix Tools. This is mainly uptime monitor, but it also has agent that you can install on your server and it will gather a bunch of data. It also has option to notify you when there are some problems with server. I'm recommending Hetrix Tools because of several reasons. You get very nice interface, it is free and there is no paywalls or gimmicks. I'm using this for several years and it does exactly what it should do. There is an option to get public URL so you can show other people statistics from your server. It's very, very lightweight, just a couple of megabytes of RAM, and that's all. It's not like net data that takes a lot of RAM. What is net data? It is a very similar tool to agent of Hetrix tools, but this is self hosted. To be honest, I used that very long ago until I learned about Hetrix tools. Now I use Hetrix tools. So, okay, now you can be notified that something is wrong with your system and you can fix that instantly instead of waiting for critical problems. But if you want to get even more automation, then think about unintended updates. This is available for most operating systems and it will make sure that your system is up to date. You don't need to do anything and I know Debian systems that run it for years without any issues, so it's kinda no-brainer. But also kinda no-brainer is Ubuntu Pro. You may not know it because it's kinda fresh, but Ubuntu Pro is amazing. You get longer updates for popular packages, so even old PHP that doesn't have official support is still secure. Normally, to get such packages, you need to pay, for example for Cloud Linux, which has patched versions of PHP. Ubuntu Pro, however, is free, up to 5 machines. So, how long after release will you get updates for these packages, such as PHP? For 10 years. Ubuntu Pro also includes live kernel patching, so you don't need to reboot your system. Support for 10 years, unintended updates and a live kernel patching. This is a great free combo for servers, especially for ones that need maximum uptime or ones that you forget about. So okay, you get a secure system and it also runs great for a long time, but how to verify if performance is not downgrading? Best easy option is to use yet another benchmark script. I think all viewers of this channel already know this tool, but here's a quick refresher. yaps.sh benchmarks storage, network and CPU so you can quickly see anomalies or downgrade. But this tool is also great if you want to evaluate performance of different servers. You have two servers which on paper look very similar, you can check out benchmark results from yaps.sh. And if you want to organize your servers and the yaps results, there's a tool for that too. My idlers. Here you can put every VPS server, hosting deal that you got from Low End Box or Low End Talk, and decide which ones to keep. If you input Yap's results here, then later after some weeks or months, you can quickly compare if results change to see if performance stays the same or provider is often selling to the max and you get half of what you originally had. But what if you don't have a server? You just have a shared hosting. I also have something for you. P.php. This script will give you a lot of details about server that is used for your hosting. You can learn how much RAM it has, what CPU it has, and even see usage statistics. Providers don't usually specify what host node they are using for shared hosting, but with this tool you can check it for yourself and see if provider really has for example AMD Ryzen that they advertised and not some ancient 10 year old Intel Xeon processor. If you want to learn more about servers, then subscribe. 
That's all for today. Have a nice day.